Peter Paul Rubens was a very busy and successful painter and foreign diplomat. He fit in well with the inner circles and was well admired. He had a large studio in Antwerp with many assistants who churned out paintings for the many paid commissions that he received. This painting, The Elevation of the Cross, was part of an altarpiece for a cathedral. Christ is on a diagonal away from the front of the painting, and the leaves are silhouetted against the stormy sky. Notice the muscular body, which is a trademark of many of Rubens' paintings. This painting, called Venus at the Mirror, is called the greatest mastering of the female form. The lady in the painting matches the idealistic view of females at the time. Because food was scarce, society valued women who were plump, not skinny. Rubin was a master of combining red, blue, white, and yellow to perfectly balance the colors of milk and blood in the skin. This painting, Garden of Love, is inspired by Rubin's second marriage. The colors are warm, light, ripe, and sensuous. The figures melt into each other with a soft, flowing rhythm. The velvet, satin, soft skin, sparkling eyes, and rosy lips seduce with the visions of the joy of life and love that is suspended in this spring garden. Rubens' paintings define the Baroque period. They show a golden time without pain or anxiety. They are characterized by great drama, rich and deep color, and intense light or dark shadows.